Hey guys, I've done some thinking, and a little cleaning up obviously, because we need this snow for stuff that's happening. What? Might as well snag this, we're going to need it. Who left an egg under my bed? Sure, we'll just take it, I guess. We're going on a little adventure today. I think we should leave this behind, at least for a little while. Leave that here as a memorial of where we woke up. But, uh, we're going to move to the village. Uh, Sylph said that we could just move to their island hanging above the village. So we're going to go check out the scene. Build the place, set up shop. And see what exactly we can do for these guys. We're going to be making a couple back and forth trips because I've got the chest of stuff out there. I also want to snag a few of the lanterns here before we dip. So let's get moving. Got a lot to do. Did a fair bit of resource gathering as well. Hello? Hi, Coda. I brought you some bacon. The captain. Ah! You don't have to do that. Appreciate it nonetheless, though. Definitely gonna need some grub. Food's always very important. Uh, I really appreciate if you wouldn't uh, sit on the chest when I need in there, Zeke. This is why we're going to have to make another trip back. Because I'm going to need that stuff. But otherwise, we're good to go. Huh. <laughs> Sun's rising on a new dawn for us, I think. I don't really know what qualifies as a new dawn for us, considering uh, we don't really have any memories of where we're from. Many, anyways. I remember hell. Remember that I've probably been there a few times. We had means to get to and from it. And that's about it. I've noticed that I seem to eat more than the average person here does. At least from the people I met so far. Not a bad thing. Food's good. Apparently a lot more food showed up when I woke when I woke up. A blessing in disguise for them, maybe? I don't know. Not certain. They seem to think that my waking up brought a whole plethora of new things to them, though. It's the other thing I kind of want to figure out as soon as like, we can. What do Terror, Beowulf, and Boomstick mean to us? What exactly do you guys mean to me other than you took care of me? A lot of mysteries. And now that I'm awake, we've got plenty of time to solve them. There's certainly nothing ordinary about you guys. I mean, the way they reacted to the fact that you built that shelter for me. The funeral home. You know, I gotta bring into question. Why is there a funeral home? Death barely means a thing here. Though allegedly somebody here died. I also took the liberty of placing a sign up here to let Sylph know that I was moving in. I also placed a sign outside of the gates. Letting these people know that I'm here to help. What do you guys make of the situation we're in? Confusing but exciting? Yeah. I suppose that's a good way to put it. I'm certainly confused. If this isn't where we're from, 
then something brought us here. At least that's what I'm thinking. But my question is... Why? What happened that would make them want to bring us here? And us, of all people. If we came from... Somewhere else, surely there were better candidates. So here's what I'm thinking. Once we clean this up... We should probably set up, uh... Something small. If I'm a hunter, then likely these people will need something hunted. I mean, you guys certainly seem to... Well, one of you guys, anyways. Seemed a little eager for me to hunt and kill things. So maybe we should set up some kind of an office up here. I think you both are he, him. Abaddon is definitely he, him. You, Zeke, might be a little more he, they. I think you're he, they. I know I'm he, they. Why is my house covered in sand? The captain was cleaning. Time to kick ass and put on a show. Or they can just run and be little bitches. Ah, there you are. Ask stars to donate to their house and to you. Well, they're already showing they're pretty helpful. If I remember correctly, they did say Stars was designed to help. Stars is mechanical. So, there's some kind of robot. I guess that doesn't inherently make them a monster, so... I can throw caution to the wind a little bit. Abaddon, why are you so hell-bent on me killing people? Mechanical could mean monster, yes, but... They did bring up some good points yesterday. Monster does not necessarily mean, mean anything. I'm making my way over there now. Maybe I'll catch them in time. I'm still trying to gather the idea of what a monster is myself. Because, I mean, no one here seems inherently evil, per se. At least, not directly. Out of all the people I've met, met so far, there's really only one that I'm skeptical about. But of course, I also haven't seen this stars. I just know they're helpful, they're mildly dangerous, according to Jackdaw anyways, and I think I trust Jackdaw's judgment. And they're mechanical. Biomechanical? I'll remember. Something something robot. Hey there. Greetings. Um... I'm Dakota. Nice to meet you. I am the self-taught artificial, artificial reliable servitor, though most people will call me Stars. I am attempting to expand the highway over to here, as Sylph lives there, and you're building a new residence. I figured more accessibility would be logical. That makes sense to me. Um, if you are in need of anything, that is what I am built for. So feel free to reach out to me if you are in need of resources. 
Um, my farm was recently destroyed, otherwise I would offer a steady supply of food. Yeah, that's fair. Not sure about this whole destruction thing. Apparently I missed a lot while I was napping for six months. Yes, much has happened since we all have first woken up here. I see. Not much certainly is evident. You've certainly done a nice job building these things. I appreciate your compliments. Though this can be partially attributed to Moth. They are the ones who uh, decided to add in the roof to the highway and widen it. I've heard about this moth. Ren said that they're uh, on vacation in the stars, but I feel like there's something uh, a little more to that story. It is not necessarily my story to tell, though... They are an interesting case. That's fair. If I had to offer a bit of advice, I would avoid bringing them up in front of Anathema. Did you meet them? Anathema. That's one of the names that I heard the other day. Yes. They're very uh, impulsive and destructive. Add that to my list of people to look out for. Yes. I first met them when they were blowing up Sleep's office and the mansion over there. Yikes. Yes. Got it. Nathamon K. Yes. Since they have proven themselves to be a... Uh, security risk after the whole blowing up part of the building thing. I've been ordered to uh, get rid of them on site if need be, since they've proven to be harmful to others. Well, I know I'm new here, but if you need any assistance, my sword is yours. I appreciate that, and the same goes for me as well. Where did you get a sword that powerful. I don't think I've seen netherite. Oh, uh, here this. Before, at least. This was my in my yes. ender chest. That would make sense. A lot of things have been found in ender chests. I only had just a few things. Uh, the the cat and the dog in my office called them tools of my trade they can speak yeah very loosely interesting to everyone else they just bark and meow but to me they speak full english mm. you're not the uh first one to be able to communicate with animals i know that jackdaw has their uh chickens that they communicate with. I like that jackdaw person. Oz is brats, I believe. Oz, that's a new name. I think I've only seen that one. Yes, they've been uh, holed up in their observatory out by the lighthouse. Over in that direction, roughly. I see. I haven't really gone much further than the village. Understandable. And even then, I don't think they've actually finished my tour. Because there's a couple buildings down... Well, yeah, a couple buildings down there I don't recognize. Which ones? Uh, the one next to the Fantasy Costco, I think it's called. And uh, those weird structures over there just outside the wall. The building next to the Fantasy Costco is Gawain's Waypoint. Um, for, uh, for writing down memories on signs and posting them. Okay. Um, oh, there I go. One second. Yep. There we go. Alright. Apologies. Don't worry about it. 
Yes, it may be easier to conduct the tour down here. That's true. I'll be... I'll meet you by the Fantasy Casca. Alright. But, yes, if you follow me, you can see the interior of the waypoint. It is very self-explanatory. I'm not sure what these signs are about. They are, uh, oh. vaguely alarming. Huh. Sounds like this Gawain's got a lot of baggage. Yes, they seem to be having a, a bit of a crisis. Hello, Ren. I don't think that they want to speak right now, but That's they're fair. here. Um, anyways, moving on. Uh, we have, inside of the village, the, uh, everything's sort of under construction right now. We're remodeling the way things are run. Mm -hmm. We have a, a flower shop as well, since they, uh, are plentiful around the server, and it acts as a sort of fundraising effort for the, uh, kingdom. This is where I met Ren. Oh, I didn't realize Ren had been in here. Mm-hmm. And uh, over on the structures outside of the village, we have uh, what I believe to be Aster's home, though much like Oz, they've been kind of AWOL lately. It's another new They're name. in the, like, tower-looking building over there. And over there is the tree farm. It's free for anyone to grab from. Just replant trees when you harvest from them. Makes sense to me. Yes. And this is uh, Sleep's funeral home. Uh, he's planning to expand and add in an actual graveyard soon. Actual graveyard. With what bodies, I'm not certain. That is a cactus. Yeah, I didn't see it there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Jack Dodd told me that somebody recently did actually manage to die. Oh, yes. Marvin. No. A uh, casualty of the convergence. Convergence. Yes. There was a conflict over a wall, and uh, we were fighting, and uh, their anchor was broken at the same time that they had fallen into the void, and nothing's been heard from them since. I see. That's unfortunate. It could be said that, yes. Um, but on the bright side, we no longer have a homicidal mob running around with copious amounts of TNT, so... Hmm. I guess it's a good thing they died before I showed up. Yes. Well, I guess good for you, bad for me. That's less business. You... There are plenty of, uh bad actors here. I'm certain you'll be able to find something to do. Mm hmm Well, I think they want the horse. <laughs> I did see the funeral anyway. home, too. Oh, there's a oh, book. A book. <laughs> that... I got it. Okay. Thank you, Cactus. Actually, I might grab one of these. Yes, they are a useful resource. I don't know what this means. Hmm? It's a friend saying hello to the horsey. Uh... I've seen that face around... There's actually... You don't need this book, do you? No. Alright, cool. Yeah. That face is also on the outhouse. Hmm. There's another tiny one. 
I see you liked what I did. Y yeah. Oh. Wait, that was you? Yes, that was me. Uh, They've been ordered to eliminate you. Why? Who? Who? Who ordered that? Uh, sleep did. Um. No. <laughs> Why would you? No, but that's. That's mean, though. After I helped you with the flower shop. This not is not something nice. I've determined myself. Besides, it seems that I can't harm you, anyways. No, I am incapable of dying. Oh. I am bonded to this form forever. You're new. Fascinating. You're my size. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> You're not like me, though. Huh. Yeah. I'm, a. Uh... Pleased to meet you. Mm. This is my main supplier for the uh, flower shop. Mm-hmm. I can get you any kind of flowers. Any kind. Mm -hmm. oh, any oh. kind of flowers you want. And keep that in mind. I'm Dakota. I woke up from a six-month-long nap, and now I'm opening a monster hunting business. Oh, interesting. Um, why would you hunt monsters? It's what I'm good at. At least that's as far as I can remember. Oh. Well, do you need flowers for it? Uh, I don't know if I necessarily need flowers for it, but uh, decorating the shop would be nice. I can do that. Do you Do you have a house? I can help you decorate that. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, let me show you where that is, since I think we're just about done with the rest of this tour. Okay. I'll meet you up there in a moment. I need to acquire some scaffolding. By all means. You can put some of this stuff away while I'm waiting on them. Oh. oh. I like your house. It's, um... It's nice. Oh! Thank you. You have some decorations in here. Yeah, I didn't see that there. That's nice. I think that I think that's supposed to be there. I definitely right? think that's supposed to... No, actually, I don't think that's supposed to be there. I don't even know where that came from. Um, maybe it's a gift from Haven. A gift from the world? Mm-hmm. Those huh. happen sometimes. I'm from Haven. Oh, I see. Fascinating. Mm-hmm. can give you any kind of flowers you want. I can give you other stuff, too. As long as it's fun. As long as it's fun. So I'm guessing uh, one of those black roses is out of the question. Oh, that can be fun for some. You mean, um, um, you mean what? What is that called? Wait, let me get that. The wither rose. Yeah. Yeah, I can give you any amount you want. Uh. Oh, uh, just one was fine, but thank you. Of course. If you want to give those back to me, you can. Uh, I need to. Can you not pick them up? <laughs> My inventory is full because I'm uh, in the process of moving. Oh, moving is a little stressful. Just a little. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, you also want to have from a large hide in a moment, so be careful. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. You wouldn't happen to have a flower pot too, would you? I uh, sure do. Cool. I don't feel safe just leaving these out in the open. There's a couple out in the open. I have numerous flower pots if you would like some. Oh, thank you. Yes, I have 44. Oh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> I don't think sure I need is. that many. Oh. There we go. That way I don't think that oh, can nice. cause any harm to anybody. Mm-hmm. I don't recall seeing your anchor before. Oh, uh, apparently it just changed. It was one of the, uh, gray ones, according to a few of the people that I would talk to yesterday. Interesting. So that's what their purpose is. Here so, yeah. Also, apparently, according to, uh, 
uh, in Jackdaw's mind, a bunch of new things started popping up too when I woke up. Like, apparently you didn't have bacon here before. Yes, that is new. I have not experimented with such resources, but that seems interesting. Certainly tasty. This is one of the only other things I can remember about home, is that there was plenty of bacon. I see. Yeah, it seems Flower Goblin has more flowers. Um... Yeah, I always have more flowers. I was just putting some out uh, around there. Gotcha. Yes, oh, uh -huh. where are my manners? These two. Oh, cat... oh apologies, then. <laughs> the uh, cat is Ezekiel, and the dog is Abaddon. Oh, nice to I meet you. I see. So Ezekiel, Abaddon. I'm referring to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were with me when I woke up. They look nice. Interesting. Friends. Jackdaw also told me that I should be on the lookout for you, but you don't really seem all that dangerous. You've been more helpful than you have a danger. Yes. Jackdaw and I have a tense relationship, though it is primarily one-sided. They seem convinced that I want to harm them, which is odd. They got angry at me from the last many times I interacted with them because I was expanding the Haven's Highway towards their house. I had thought they'd want easy access to the main village here, but I suppose I was wrong. That explains the sign. Uh... Yours was one of yes. the first names that I actually got when I woke up. Oh. It was Reese, and then it was you, and then I met, uh, Captain. Then Ren, then Jackdaw, then Sylph, then Angel. You've met a lot of people so far. Yeah. My apologies for not meeting you sooner. I've been preoccupied. Eh, don't worry about things. it. Don't worry about it. I appreciate the introduction, and again, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. I have some uh, ore that I need to break down, so I'm going to work on mm -hmm. that for the time being. By all means. You wouldn't happen to know anything about the owner of that goat plushie that's sitting on my de desk, do you? Um, I have a couple plushies. I haven't met... The person who has those plushies. I found it over where the gay chicken was. Oh, my friend! Yes, I um, I had to escort my friend to somewhere safer with other uh, little guys. I see. Is it this zoo I've heard about? This Jurassic yes. Park? Yes, it is in the Jurassic Park. There's also a lot of flowers there. I'm gonna have have to... you seen it? Not yet. Oh. Hmm. It's on the well, bucket. It's really close by. <gasps> you know what? I was planning on visiting it as soon as I was done with the place, but if you want to go, Ren, we can go. Of course. Mm -hmm. Lead the way. Follow me. I haven't been out this way yet. Ah, uh, yes. The lighthouse and the boat you see there are August. August lives in the uh, lighthouse. For some reason, they have uh, explosives in the top part of oh, the lighthouse. So I'd be wary when you go up there. Yes. Okay. That mm -hmm. wooden thing you see is an Athema's death machine. It kills you when you go in it. All right, don't oh, go in wow. it. Yes, it gives you a specific death message. Fascinating. I don't know if I want to discover what that message is. This is tiny little farm area is Communist Farm, as well as the greenhouse and the cows. It was one of the first farms when that we made on the server. Huh. This over here, I believe, was meant to be a clubhouse of some kind. It was something that Oz was building, but it's left unfinished for now. Hmm.
These cookies are really good, by the way, Ren. And then this over here is Oz's house. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be oh. that well maintained. There's well, a there's a lot of green things. There's a lot of mail for them. Uh, yes, I've been leaving them food and such since they haven't been going out much. I see. And then over here is Jurassic Park. Oh. Yes, I worry for them too. Yes, down here is where all of the exhibits and such are. I see. You can see the chicken over there. You can see my friend. Oh. And that big egg. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, he you massive eggs. Also got a good chunk of hell here. Yes. I'm still not certain how they pulled that off. Um, I think Haven likes them. It's done a couple nice things. Um... Like all the flowers. Hmm. I like coming here because of all the flowers that are around. Makes sense. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Aww. There's pandas. The oh, do you wish there. to see something that Oz and I, in uh, a large portion of the server, had to work to get in here? Sure. I found pick. him one day when I was uh, looking for places to mine. I see. Like, uh, they have names. Yes. Nugget and biscuit. There's just a chicken in there. Yes, that's, that is that's nugget. nugget. I see. Oh, it's a small chicken. It's also laid this in eggs. It's like my part friend. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's gay rights chicken. Don't go too far up there. Yes. He got moved mm -hmm. since the uh, ending of Pride Month. That makes sense. I heard some uh, threats to uh, kill him by drowning him in his own kind, and it seemed rather mm -hmm. disturbing, so I'm glad that he's moved. made those threats. Yeah. So, my, um, me and uh, my, my friend, friend from the forest, uh, moved him over here. I see. Mm hmm Who did make those threats? Hmm. Fair enough. It's just <laughs> some things I overheard from where I live in the basement of the manor. Oh, I see. If you'd uh, like, I can show you what happened during the uh, convergence as part of the tour. Mm, yeah, sure. So that's on the other side of the... Uh, Isles. So, and if there's something else you'd like to show beforehand, Flower Goblin. No, I think that's it. Just the, just the park. Oh, okay. the um, the reason why the park is called what it's called. Oh, oh yes, the man himself. Carol. Mm -hmm. I don't say hi to many of the people, but I do say hi to Gerald. This is much better than his uh, original Acacia ticketing booth. Yes, he's, um... He's had an upgrade. Oz oh, certainly has been making improvements here, though I haven't seen them a lot. I'm glad they've been keeping busy. Mm -hmm. as as... They've let it overgrow, though, which I like. Alright, yes, up back up the highway. Yes. Yeah. Where we should go. I think I'm gonna yes. stay here. Uh, putting all those flowers down and everything was pretty tiring. Understandable. Uh, understandable. Mm hmm Have, uh, make sure to have fun. Yeah. I you too, Flower Goblin. I suppose. Mm hmm Bye! At Bye, first, Ren! Well... <laughs> Ezekiel also says bye, Goblin. Oh, I say bye to, um, everyone. <laughs> Do you have a telepathic link with the animals? Uh, I guess so. I can hear them from anywhere. Interesting. There, I think some of the farms that I had are still, uh... somewhat functional. Be careful of the creeper. 
Yep. Um, so feel free to take from there if you wish. The farms in the farming district in the village as well are free for the public to use. Duly noted. Yes, I have no need of them, so... Oh, apparently, according to Ezekiel, they can also see through my eyes. Oh, that's interesting. And then, so to get to the uh, ruins, you just go through this pathway. There's also a public park uh, on the bridge as well. Oh, all right. I appreciate it, Ren. Thank you. Ren uh, assisted me in the design for this area right here. Oh, it's very pleasant. Yes, that was the uh, goal. I'd say you succeeded. Just a place for people to go to if they need to. There's also a large sugarcane farm over here that you can use. I'll keep you, that in if mind. You wish. Uh, the spider farm is available through that. I'll show you that first since it's closer. Oh, great. Spiders. Cool. All right. We can do that. They're, through, they're behind glass, so you should be relatively okay. And I believe they don't deal poison damage like cave spiders usually do. Oh, okay. So, so they're normal. Sp okay. That. That's not an issue then. Yes. Yes, it's just down here. Um, this is the uh, farm. This is the sort of AFK area. Mm. And then spiders appear, and you can hit them through the trapdoors. Oh, Sometimes nice. they will go up to the ceiling. In that case, you put these down and then hit them with your bow and kill them. Gotcha. Noted. But if you ever need to farm for experience or string or anything like that, this is a good place to go. Got ya. Oh! That... That's it. That was... a horrible abomination that I just saw. Yes. There are other, uh... Spawners down here. If you'd like, I can try to invest in making another EXP farm. As long as there are nothing like those abominations, that'd be very helpful. Thank you. Alright. So this is where a wall was previously. We were attempting to protect a small isolationist community of villagers in a town called Butterflies back there. Okay. Unfortunately, um, many people on this server did not believe us when we told them this, uh, and uh, were very upset about us not letting them in. So they blew up the uh, wall that was here, leaving a massive crater, which has been mostly filled in since then. That's uh, certainly um, a little excessive. Yes. There are pumpkins over here. There's some melons as well. Um... This is where I had previously lived before Novin decided that 12 stacks of TNT uh, were a necessary response to us defending the wall. 12 stacks? Yes, this is why I said that they're a threat to the people on the server. They decided to do this relatively unprovoked. Yikes. So, they are dead, but death doesn't seem to stick very well, so if you catch any sight of them and they shouldn't be around, I would appreciate it if you let me know. I think it's a good thing Novin didn't teach you about the TNT stuff. Yes. And I will... But anyways, because of this, I live underneath the mansion now. Gotcha. You are free to use any of the resources here. There's a uh, cobblestone generator down there where you see the water and the lava yeah. as well. That'd be helpful. And uh, I've been using that to construct Haven Highway. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Um, 
So, as I said, feel free to use any of the resources here, as it's pretty much public land now. Um, there's also, over here, this remained relatively untouched, but there are... It's a food pantry full of large supplies of the crops that I had collected. Gotcha. So, yeah, I figured uh, showing you uh, what has happened here would be fair, since you are now getting involved with all of this, just like anyone else, and you've been unconscious for six months and ignorant to everything that has happened. Yeah. Three names on my hit list, then, I guess. I don't even oh. think calling it a hit list is correct. Just list of people to keep an eye out on. Uh, don't worry about what a hit list is, but uh. Yes, it it's a list of people you would like to hit. Yes, with my hand out of, out because they are not nice. Yes. K anathema and now Navin. Even though this Navin is dead, but Haven seems to be a little funky about that. Yes. I've noticed their uh, communicator keeps turning on, which is suspicious. So, so, yes, thank you for agreeing to keep an eye out. Of course, of course. Speaking of communicators... Yes? There's that odd name again that we found the other day. Demousies. Demousies? I have never encountered them before. I wonder if they're someone like you. It's possible. I mean, I found we found their head in the manor the other day. Odd. Perhaps. It's, it's possible. Maybe they're this Soleil person, because there was another activated anchor there with the name Soleil. Interesting. That would make sense, yes. People's names in their communicator do not always match their actual names, as is the case with yours. Correct. And Flower Goblin, even though- wait, Flower Goblin doesn't have- never mind, ignore that. We're good. Yes. <laughs> we are ignoring- uh, well, Flower Goblin doesn't have communicator exactly, so... All right, I think I'm going to take my leave. Um, Sounds good. Good luck with the rest of your projects and such. If you need anything, like I said, feel free to let me know. Same to you. Thank you for the help. Of course. Goodbye, Ren, and goodbye, Dakota. See you, stars. <laughs>